The search for extraterrestrial life has been a topic of fascination for centuries. From science fiction to scientific research, the possibility of life beyond our planet has captivated our imaginations. But what do we actually know so far about the search for extraterrestrial life? In this video, we will explore the current state of our understanding and the ongoing efforts to find evidence of life beyond Earth. Our search for extraterrestrial life begins with the study of the universe itself. Astronomers use telescopes to observe the stars and planets in our galaxy and beyond. They look for signs of habitable environments, such as planets in the Goldilocks zone not too hot, not too cold where liquid water could exist. So far, astronomers have discovered thousands of exoplanets planets outside our solar system, and many of them are in the habitable zone. But just because a planet is in the habitable zone doesn't mean it has the conditions necessary for life. To determine if a planet has the potential for life, scientists use a variety of methods, including spectroscopy. This technique allows them to analyze the light that passes through a planet's atmosphere and look for chemical signatures that could indicate the presence of life. But even if we find a planet with the right conditions and chemical signatures, it doesn't necessarily mean there is life there. We need to find more direct evidence. One way to search for life is to send missions to other planets and moons in our solar system. NASA's Mars rovers, for example, have been exploring the red planet for years, looking for signs of past or present microbial life. But so far, we have not found any conclusive evidence of extraterrestrial life. The search continues, and scientists are exploring new ways to look for life beyond Earth. In the next segments, we will explore some of the latest developments in the search for extraterrestrial life, including new technologies and missions that could bring us closer to answering the age-old question, are we alone in the universe? One of the most well-known efforts to find extraterrestrial life is the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, or SETI. This project uses radio telescopes to scan the skies for signals that could be coming from intelligent civilizations. The idea behind SETI is that if there are other intelligent civilizations out there, they may be using radio waves to communicate, just as we do on Earth. SETI has been searching for these signals for decades, but so far they have not found any conclusive evidence of extraterrestrial intelligence. However, the search continues and SETI is expanding its efforts with new technologies and collaborations with other organizations. One promising new technology is the use of machine learning algorithms to analyze the vast amounts of data collected by radio telescopes. These algorithms can identify patterns and anomalies that may be missed by human analysts. Another exciting development is the Breakthrough Listen project, which is the most comprehensive search for extraterrestrial intelligence to date. This project uses the world's most powerful telescopes to scan the skies for signals and is funded by billionaire Yuri Menla. While the search for extraterrestrial intelligence is still ongoing, it remains one of the most exciting and promising areas of research in the search for extraterrestrial life. In the next segment, we will explore another approach to finding extraterrestrial life, the search for biosignatures. Biosignatures are signs of life that can be detected from a distance. These could include the presence of certain gases in a planet's atmosphere, such as oxygen or methane, which could be produced by living organisms. The search for biosignatures is a promising approach to finding extraterrestrial life because it does not require direct observation of the organisms themselves. Scientists are developing new technologies to detect biosignatures, including the use of telescopes and spectroscopy to analyze the light that passes through a planet's atmosphere. One challenge in the search for biosignatures is distinguishing between signs of life and signs of non-biological processes. For example, methane can be produced by both living organisms and geological processes. To address this challenge, scientists are studying the conditions under which different biosignatures can be produced and developing models to predict the likelihood of each scenario. Another approach is to look for multiple biosignatures that are consistent with the presence of life. For example, the presence of both oxygen and methane in a planet's atmosphere could be a strong indicator of biological activity. While the search for biosignatures is still in its early stages, it has the potential to revolutionize our understanding of the universe and our place in it. In the next segment, we will explore the possibility of life in our own solar system. While the search for extraterrestrial life often focuses on planets outside our solar system, there is also the possibility of finding life closer to home. Several moons in our solar system are believed to have the conditions necessary for life, including liquid water and organic compounds. One of the most promising candidates for life is Europa, one of Jupiter's moons. Europa is covered in a thick layer of ice, but scientists believe there is a subsurface ocean of liquid water beneath the ice. In 2024, NASA plans to launch the Europa Clipper mission, which will study the moon's surface and subsurface in detail, looking for signs of life. Another promising candidate for life is Enceladus, one of Saturn's moons. Enceladus has geysers that spew water and organic compounds into space, indicating the presence of a subsurface ocean. In 2015, 
NASA's Cassini spacecraft flew through one of Enceladus' geysers and detected molecular hydrogen, which could be a potential energy source for microbial life. While the search for life in our solar system is still in its early stages, these discoveries have opened up new possibilities for finding extraterrestrial life. In a final segment, we will explore the implications of finding extraterrestrial life and what it could mean for our understanding of the universe. The discovery of extraterrestrial life would be one of the most significant scientific discoveries in human history. It would not only revolutionize our understanding of the universe, but also have profound philosophical and societal implications. One of the most significant implications is the question of whether we are alone in the universe. The discovery of even microbial life on another planet would suggest that life is not unique to Earth and could be common throughout the universe. Another implication is the possibility of communication with extraterrestrial civilizations. If we were to detect a signal from another planet, it would raise the question of how to communicate with an alien species and what the implications of such communication could be. The discovery of extraterrestrial life could also have profound philosophical implications, raising questions about the nature of life and our place in the universe. Finally, the discovery of extraterrestrial life could have societal implications, including the impact on religion, culture, and politics. While the discovery of extraterrestrial life is still uncertain, the ongoing search has already expanded our understanding of the universe and our place in it. As we continue to explore the cosmos, we may one day find evidence of life beyond Earth, and in doing so, we will have taken a significant step forward in our understanding of the universe and our place in it. Thank you for watching this video on the search for extraterrestrial life. We hope you have enjoyed learning about the current state of our understanding and the ongoing efforts to find evidence of life beyond Earth.